Hey, how's it going? Did you know with Xbox Cloud Gaming, you can use it on Mac OS, iPad OS, and iOS devices? And hey, the best part is you don't even need an Xbox controller. You can use a PS4 controller, a PS5 controller. Hey, you might even be able to use the Astro C40 Tournament Ready Controller. What's going on, you wonderful people? My name is Brandon. Welcome to Creighton TV. Yes, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use Xbox Cloud Gaming on Mac OS, iPad OS, iOS devices, how do you set it up, how well it runs. Yes, so here we are on Mac OS, and right now you can see um, how Xbox Cloud Gaming looks, and the way you get it is just go to Google, type in Xbox Cloud Gaming, make an account, it's free. And then, so where everything that you can see is on the cloud, it's not a big genre of games. So we're gonna just try out a couple, maybe one or two. So just demonstration, I'm gonna use the PS5 controller. And if you wanna know how you connect your PS5 controller to the Mac OS computer, what you wanna do is you wanna hit create button and press the home button until it, for about five seconds. So yes, right now I am logged into Fortnite using my Hex Gaming PS5 controller. Everything works. You can hear the music in the background. I can browse and let me just show you a little quick game real quick. When using a PS5 controller, PS4 controller, maybe even the Astro C40 tournament ready controller on Mac OS devices, I can say there is a slight delay. And sometimes it's kind of weird because even though it's still in beta, the game would kind of freeze. I was just doing a little test right now in Fortnite. The game didn't freeze as much, but you can tell like it's like pixelated and the quality is not as good when you use a PS5 or or a PS4 controller, there is a delay. So like when I was clicking the guns, I would tap to shoot and I had to wait for it to actually trigger and register to the controller to the game. But so far on Mac OS, it's sufficient. Now let's test it out over here on iPad OS. And I'm gonna show, demonstrate that. It's the same how you set up on iOS. So I'm gonna show you how to download the app and then we'll get started for connecting that. So now I'm gonna show you with the PS5 controller, setting it up on the iPad, but first things first, the way you want to download the app, you want to go to Safari, go to Google, type in Xbox Cloud Gaming, click on the Xbox Cloud Gaming beta for xbox.com. And then it's going to tell you to add it as a, like an app. It sucks that Apple would allow it in the actual app store. Maybe it would around better. But just remember, this is an online cloud-based gaming app. So it runs on the web and everything. So you got to make sure you have good, sufficient internet or everything else. So Little how you share when you share stuff to your peep for your friends, you want to make sure you hit that and you come down here and hit add to home screen. Hit add now, it's an app. You can see it tells you what you can play, what touch most popular games that they have. So, there's a big variety, not much games you can play, but some efficient. So, we're still going to try out another shooting game. <laughs> using iPad OS, it runs better. I can tell that and the, the quality is more better on it. I'm just doing a little gameplay right now. I didn't do much of a gameplay. Um, the delay is not as bad. There's still a delay. 
I don't know if it's because I'm using a PS5 controller or a PS4 controller. Um, maybe I might have to try an Xbox controller, but it's not as bad as it was on Mac OS. That's, a, that's how I feel. So there is a slight delay still. Um, Mac OS, it was more of a bigger delay. Like, I don't know why, even though I have a powerful MacBook, but it was a bigger delay. But at least on iPad OS, at least the quality looks better. So I think they made some improvements and upgrades on it for iPad or iOS devices, which is good. So the delay, so you can use a controller or you can play touch. So there's not much of a delay that bad. Coming through Mac OS to this, I will say if you have an iPad or iPhone, just use that. Just if you can get used to using a smaller screen, use that. Um, when you, if you use your iMac or everything, just know that maybe you should try it plugged in instead of uh, over Bluetooth because with Bluetooth, it is a delay. It's not much delay that you could tell, but you can feel it like it's a delay and it feels awkward and everything else. Now let's get into my final thoughts and then I'll tell you if you should use this or download it and try it out for yourself. Yes. So that was my two demonstrations right there of using Mac OS and iPad OS with Xbox Cloud Game. In my opinion, on a scale from one to 10, what I would give it, I would give it about well, six and a half, seven-ish. It runs good, sufficient. It's just on Mac OS right now. I don't know if it was just because I was using a PS5 or a PS4 controller and I'm playing on Bluetooth that there was a high, like a bigger delay than it was on iPad or I, I, iOS. But I know on iPad, it runs smooth, smoother. The quality is more better. But on Mac OS, it's like you could tell the quality is like down. Kind of bad. It was between 480 and, and 720 on the quality for Mac OS. But on iPad, iPad OS, the quality was great. Even on iOS, the quality was great. So I will say, go ahead and try it out. Tell me what you like it. Leave a comment down in the comment section. If you have already tried it already, this is free and it's just, uh, you know, it's still in beta. There's not a lot of big genre of games. Me, I'm a PlayStation user. So me trying out Xbox Cloud Gaming was something new and something uh, just want to try it out. But yeah, there's a lot of games on there. Not many, but, you know, some that can get you by from just going day to day, especially if you're using it for free for cloud gaming. But other than that, let me know what you guys think about this video. Like this video. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. God bless everybody and take care. Peace. Wait, wait, just before you go, do you think, are you able to use the Astro C40 tournament ready controller on Mac OS and still be able to use it playing Xbox Cloud Gaming? Well, the real answer is...